Hey guys, what is up? What is going on my friends of YouTube? Today I'm going to do a walkthrough of my office, my gaming setup, slash gaming, editing setup, whatever you want to call it. Starting off, well right here I have a little bit of a mess, but pretty much this area here is always messy. And the reason why, well, it's where I build computers. Take a look at that. Uh, that's my bin, I have uh, zip ties, I got some project boxes, I got screws, I got towels, I got a whole bunch of stuff that I use all the time for or when I'm modding a computer. Right here is where I got all of my tools uh, and some other stuff that I use when I am building a computer, uh, some leftover parts and whatnot right here well it's pretty much leftovers of computers things that i take out and whatnot i haven't fully organized this here because i need i need to organize that so as you can see right there that's a sound blaster card i'm not use i'm not going to use it for this computer here so it's just sitting there that's six gigs of ram at 1000 megahertz pretty much pointless down there i got some tripods some sliders some microphone uh, stands and I got my gimbal right there for my camera which I should be using right now but I'm not uh, so if my hand is a little shaky I'm sorry and well that's the bottom of that guys and right here while well, the bottom I got some paint some plastic deep underneath my desk like I said guys uh, this desk in here is homemade you can see the support at the bottom I'll show you at the bottom in a minute anyways let's go ahead and move to the top section all right over there on the corner i got my light up there that's my studio light laptop keyboard in there that i removed that's my air conditioner my window ac and right here guys i got a collection of motherboards i'm gonna go ahead and cover up that wall with motherboards all the way up and right up there guys well that's my collection of boxes um as you can see up there, I got a collection of the stuff that I bought before and some motherboard boxes and whatnot. So I pretty much left it there for um, collection. Over there, I got some more boxes. So yeah, guys, that is my shelf up there of uh, collections. Anyways, moving down part of my wall, guys, I got a collection of graphics cards. Uh, this graphics card here, I took it out from the computer that I just showed you it's a dual gpu it has two chips in there it's the hd 5970 it's only 720p so i didn't want to use it on this computer i have my glorious mask i love that mask um and i got that's an ati i can't remember that i got it for like seven bucks off of a guy on craigslist just to collect it that is a geforce 450 uh, graphics card that is the cooler design of my GTX 1080. That is my GTX 780 Ti that I killed accidentally. Over here, I got my first graphics card ever that I got back in 2004 when I built a uh, when I got a computer off of Circuit City, and uh, I needed to do a 3D graphical design on a program that I was using back in the day, and so I bought that graphics card. And that right there, guys, it's the G NVIDIA GTX 750Ti. Uh, it works, actually, no, 650Ti, I'm sorry. It works, it still works. I just have it there because I don't use it. Uh, right there, it's a hard drive that I open up and I put it right there because it looks nice. Those are my headphones that I am currently using for gaming and editing as well. And yeah i'm sorry for that ugly cable i just haven't have i just haven't got around to uh you know routing the cable the way that it's supposed to go but anyway guys this right here is an arm microphone arm that i uh designed well adjust myself i mod it this is not the way that it's supposed to be uh it's a little dusty my bad um but anyways i mounted it upside down as you can see right there i did some modifications to it and well pretty much it allows me to use my microphone here and i can move it around man this is dusty as well crap anyway so as you can see right here guys when i'm gaming and whatnot i can adjust it to my height and i can do my live streams 
when I do live streams and go ahead and subscribe to my gaming channel and anyway guys so you see right there it's my arm these things go for like 12 bucks on eBay I see a lot of people on YouTube have them they're really good reliable and they're cheap so that is one thing that you want to have in mind when you want to pick up an arm stand reliable gets the job done and it's cheap this right here is a shock mount for the microphone it's dusty as hell i forgot to clean it up i am so sorry uh, it looks disgusting i know i hate dusty shit and i haven't looked at it you know, lately but anyways as you can see right here guys yeah, i got a condenser microphone i got the audio technica let me see the brand audio technica 25 it's the Audio Technica 2500 and I got a little pop filter that I got it for like what uh, $5 on eBay. Alright, taking a look at my gaming desk. Well, I got the Fluid Audio speakers here. These are, um, these are not for gaming but I made them for gaming because of the true sound quality and I really like them. They sound pretty good, pretty boss. Uh, that's my gaming monitor over there. It's a 1920 by 1080p 144 hertz and it's one millisecond response time this monitor guys is really fast it allows my graphics card to fully develop the power of 1080p i can get those on most of my games i'm playing 144 uh, frames per second anyways let's go ahead and move to my keyboard well this keyboard right here guys is the gaming keyboard uh it's the steampunk from first player i am a fan of first player products and i work with them as well so uh, this keyboard right here guys, I modify it. These keys are supposed to be black. So this keyboard is black and red, but this keyboard is silent. I like how silent is this keyboard. So when I am doing live stream, I don't have, because I used to have the fire rose in here. It's an all white um, keyboard and it was very, very loud. I, it has the blue switches. So here's my gaming setup right here guys, it's, um, I got the speakers here and the other speaker there, the studio speakers, they work, like I said guys, they get the job done and they're only 180 bucks, that's what I paid for. Oh and up there I got my um, camera, it's the, it's the Logitech C920, it gets the job done, it looks pretty nice, I've done some videos with it. I have no clue how far I went talking without looking at the little screen. I forgot that I wasn't recording anymore. It only records to 10 minutes. So anyways, this is my gaming mouse. Uh, I forgot the name of the brand. I think it's W-O-M. Anyways, I got it sent for review. It's a beautiful gaming mouse. Uh, it's heavy. It extends out. It's like robotic and stuff. You can extend the mouse. It comes with the awesome software. You can program every single key to whatever you want. So this is my favorite gaming mouse so far. Well, not my favorite, but it's a really good one. This right here, guys, it's my uh, wrist rest for your wrist. So instead of having your hand on the hard surface, you have it right here. And you can game for a long period of time. I got this sent for review as well. It's the e -bot. Go check them out. All of these little gadgets in here is going to be in the description of the video. This is from a DJ, okay? My dad has like two DJs. I am a fanatic of computers, my dad is a fanatic of DJs, he's got like two DJ systems and he got rid of this thing because the number three doesn't stay off so he didn't want it anymore, he said you want it, I said okay and pretty much guys I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight connections in here, take a look at this one, see I connect my, la I connect my lighting in here, here's where I got my computer connected. Uh, this one is the main light for up here. I'm not going to turn it off. This is for the speakers here. Uh, this is for the monitor and yaddy yaddy. So anyway guys, I recommend you getting one of these things. It's very cool. You can control your lighting from here. Even though it doesn't go with, you know, the theme of my setup, which is, well, pretty much I don't have a theme. I was going to do like an all white setup, but then I haven't had the chance to go and get a, a completely white a gaming keyboard that is silent and I still need to get the grommets for up for down there I know that looks disgusting I drilled those holes in there and I know that looks disgusting I haven't had the chance to uh, to go and get them fixed uh, or, or, or get the grommets and that's my computer over there you guys already know it I'm gonna leave the video review in the description 
that is not white it has the i7 5820k it's a custom water loop it has a 300 millimeter uh, radiator i mean 360 it has a 240 at the front intake and 120 at the bottom over here i know the camera is a little too bright that's the settings that i got let me go ahead and uh, lower the and it has an rgb as well take a look at this here yeah, lower the brightness of it uh so yeah and it's a custom modded gaming computer it has the i7 5820k like i said it has a gtx 1080 it has 32 gigs of ram ddr4 at 2400 megahertz uh, it's water cooled yeah if you want to see a vi the video review for my computer you can go ahead and uh, click the video down below in the description it's custom painted and everything and up there well i got more boxes up there more collection of boxes like i said i collect my boxes and stuff uh, i should have more or i should have better stuff up there but i just collect boxes because i like it and let's do, let's take a look up there i got more boxes up there and i got some new radiators in there i got 360 240 and 120 mm, 20 millimeter radiator that is gonna go on Snow White for next year project. I got some more boxes in there. And some of these boxes are not empty. Some of these boxes have fans and stuff inside. And this is my other setup in here, guys. Uh, see, this is one setup from here to here, and this is another setup. And right here, well, I got more stuff. That's my trash can down there. And those are some of my toolboxes over there that I use for you know, building computers. This is my tripod. Well, one of the tripods that I use and it has a fluid head. Like I said guys, this is a test cam. This is for better sound quality. It has two mic inputs and it has a little 3.5mm uh, 3 input. I sit my DSLR camera up here and I connect the audio. This is a external power. Let's see how much power does it have. Let me go ahead and turn it on. And yeah guys, this is what I use to do my live videos and stuff see was right here do i want to use bus power yes uh channel one phantom power yes and pretty much guys i connect this microphone i connect my road into 1a and it goes in here and pretty much i get the best audio that i can this is my fluid head when i'm doing pan videos and you know those cool shots and whatnot those b-rolls but anyways See, this, this battery power or this external power, guys, is 1,000 milliamps. I mean, 10,000 milliamps. The, uh, uh, I charge this thing up at least once a month, and it gives power to this thing when I use it for, man, for about a month of power. So that is great. Uh, over there, it's my uh, computer. That's my other computer or the computer that it's currently for sale. It has the i7. Let me go ahead and lower the brightness there it is i lowered the brightness very low it has the i7 6700k it has 16 gigs of ram at 3000 megahertz it's the corset dominator it has the asus gtx 1070 i mounted it sideways and it's housed in in the fractal design defined s uh, case it has three uh, three fans in the front intake and it has three at the top it's using the take the thermal take uh, ultimate 3.0 um, this computer is using all of the fans from first player the fire rolls very good reliable fans so and that over there is my bed and that's my you know my son's desk and his gaming setup as well that's my closet and over there i got more uh, stuff full of computer stuff but anyways um yeah so right here guys these are my uh studio monitors professional studio monitors these are the uh, yamaha hs 80 m i got the pair i got these back in 2010 they're still out here rocking getting the job done and yeah i really guys show you that let me show you what else is up here well, right up here guys i got more stuff i got microphones um i got my dv sound meter i got my unboxing knife i leave that up here i have uh, audio headphone audio amp 
I got another little camera here and I got more audio stuff. I got a lavalier mic. I got some more uh, lens stuff and whatnot. This right here, guys, it's another arm. You can see I, I did the same thing as on the other side. I mounted it sideways. This one I did route the cable very good. You don't see it, but it's routed in there and it comes down here and it comes over here and it comes down to the shack mount for my Rode NT1A. I truly recommend this thing, guys. Take a look in here. I can adjust the height of the microphone and whatnot. I can move it farther, I can move it back. And it's just absolutely amazing. Right here, it's where I do most of my uh, unboxings and reviews because I can, like I said, connect my, you know, I, I set my camera here. I hook up the microphone to it with another cable that I bring out and I have that beautiful, beautiful sound quality. That is my mixer over there, guys. Take a look at it. That is my mixer, that's a USB mixer, and that's how I control all of my audio and stuff. This right here is the Fire Rose mechanical keyboard. Uh, these keys right here, these black keys, are of the other keyboard, like I said, and I removed them and I, like, I swapped them pretty much. And now I am using these keys right here so it matches with the theme this this setup right here is like black black speakers black mat this risk rest i did a review of it make sure you check it out it's very good very nice i am loving it so much uh, when i am editing videos pretty much guys i have been editing my videos in here let me show you here in a minute see that that is the last video that i did on this computer before i started editing on my main computer um, I was doing the review for that keyboard combo. But anyways, I have been doing a lot of editing this computer on this game station. The quality, the sound quality is absolutely amazing. Uh, over here, that's an LG 27 inch monitor IPS panel, 60 Hertz. Uh, this is not a gaming uh, panel here. This is not a gaming screen, but it's more for video editing and stuff. And you can game on it. I'm not gonna say don't, you can game on it. And the image quality is absolutely outstanding. And that right there, guys, is my Logitech C910 beautiful beautiful quality 1920 by 1080 back here i got my sound pads that right there guys it's my blue snowball i have had it since 2010 as well it still works i just have it there for looks it looks very classy it looks very nice i love it this right here guys is my already gaming mouse beautiful beautiful mouse i love it uh, i use it for editing a lot and it it gets the job done it's beautiful uh, right there guys is my collection of SD cards and thumb drives and whatnot. So yeah guys, pretty much this is my setup right here. I love it so much. That is a desk chair. It's an old one. I haven't had the time in my head to get a you know gaming chair like all these YouTubers have those gaming chairs. That thing is like six years old. Uh, if you want to donate me one, I would so appreciate it. Down there I have a 1920 by 1080p. A monitor that I bought really cheap 20 bucks and I hooked it up I played on it and it's only 60 Hertz so I didn't like it and I put it down there <laughs> anyway guys thanks for watching this was my gaming setup if you ever wonder how do I edit my videos where do I edit my videos well pretty much I have my tripod here I do my unboxings there because it's easier for me and it's uh, beautiful and like I said probably next month you're gonna see another computer here that I'm building a customer and i'm gonna sell it i this is not a business for me it's a hobby and like i said guys this whole setup i built it myself i went to home depot and i bought all the plywood and i cut it myself i mounted it myself the way that i wanted i didn't see any desk out there that i wanted or that i liked that met my requirements so this is the way that i built mine all the way around and whatnot i am thinking of getting rid of this setup right here and i'm thinking of doing a triple setup monitor and just have one computer and i'm thinking about that but mm, at the same time i'm not i truly only like to game in one monitor so but for sure that monitor is going to be replaced with the predator i i, I am already thinking about it i want to get a ultra wide 34 inch gaming monitor a 1440p and over there i want to get another one yeah, so you might see that updated in the near future. I know I can do a lot of improvements in here. I know that I can put LED bars and, you know, make it look really fantastic. 
but this is me guys this is my style here you know i build this setup to my needs to my necessities and because i like it this way i know a lot of people are going to say well you can add this you can add that and this right here guys it's because i need it this way and it's and i love it i like to sit on my chair i sit right there and i work on my computer so i don't have to be standing up and that is a turntable and i just love it guys thanks for watching my video don't forget to hit the like down below i love you guys if i forgot something my bad